Right, in this video I'll be showing you how to get trim enabled for solid state disks in Linux. Now you don't need trim if you're using the old rotational hard drives, this is only for solid state disks. Now there's two methods of doing trim. First one is with fstab and second is to do run trim manually, so or once a day or however often you want. Because there's a performance loss if you're running trim all the time. So the first method with fstab will do for the terminal line, so what you have to do is type in sudo. Now for Ubuntu users, your default text editor is gedit. However, if you prefer to use nano, v, or any of the other text editors, such as kate or leafpad for all the other distros, it doesn't matter really, but what you need to do, sudo gedit etsy fstab, like that. Now this applies to, I think, probably all Linux distributions. So I've got to type in my admin password. So I typed in my admin password, and there we are, we have fstab. Now you need to be careful when you're editing this, because you can mess up your system and make it unbootable. Now if that happens, you've got to go in via the terminal and manually change this. Now if that's your only computer, you're going to have a bit of a hard time, because you can't just go on the internet and find out what the problem is. Now what we need to add in here is the word discard, so that's between, well I've got extension for and errors, you might have something different there, you might just have defaults. Other word you can add in is no a time and comma. No a time means no last access time. That can improve performance, might also degrade performance, so if it degrades it, what you need to do is come back into fstab and delete it. Now it only works for extension 4, BTFS and XFS drives. I don't believe it works for NTFS, FAT and FAT32 and the old extension 3 and 2 drives. So now if you don't have extension 4, BTFS or XFS there, XFS there, then it's not going to work. Now I have two solid state disks in my system, so I could also add it here as well. I've been running without trim for over a year now, well certainly the temp drive has been running like that for over a year, mind you, a few months ago that was my only drive on the system, that was my root drive on the system, so it was actually used more then. And it's been working fine, because you don't have to have trim, it's not essential, it might improve the life of the device, but it's not essential. So, your choice whether you need it or not. Now, I mentioned there's another method of doing trim in Linux, and that is with the command sudo fs trim. Then, what you need to do is direct it towards the mount point or drive that you want trimmed. So, forward slash is root. Using the solid state disk on just your home folder, then you type in home or even temp. No, just the root drive is that. And put in dash v, that'd be verbose, it'll tell you what it's done afterwards. So you just let that run, it doesn't take that long really. I think the first time just took was it about 30 seconds, a minute. But yeah, might just skip forward a little bit here. There you go, once it's finished, it just tells you how many bytes were trimmed. And that's it, you could run that once a day or if you don't use a computer that much, maybe once every few days. There's an option of putting it into a cron job, I believe, a cron daily job. I've not looked into that though, but there's always that option. So that is how you can do trim in Linux. So thanks for watching, see you later.